So here I am at Tech. I'm about to go in and today all I need is some chicken breast fillets and some minced meat. So let's go. Get it. So I'm back at home now and that was the total I spent at Tech. $25.67 is on mince and it's just under 2 kilos. The breast fillet skin off was just almost 6.5 kilos and that's $53.51. And that is going to serve us for the chicken parmigiana this week and also chicken Kievs. This means I'm gonna be using for the taco bake this week. Now I'm just going to separate them into separate freezer bags. So I thought I'd also show you that when I do separate my mince or my poultry, I do actually date it. So today's date is the 18th of March. And I know that this has got six breast fillets. This has also got six. This has got three, one, one, two, and three. So the ones that have got three, I normally will use it for shredding chicken to be shredded for lunches. So that's the chicken. And I just find that it's a good way to um, keep an eye on, obviously, how long the chicken or meat, so be it, is in the freezer for. I tend to go through it within a week or two as I've only got the one freezer at the moment. But if you do have a deep freezer and you are collecting a lot of meat, poultry, I really would say date it. Um, and I've just gotten into the habit of doing it, so I'll continue doing it. So I think that's a good suggestion to date and label your products. On to separating the mince. So again with the mince, the 18th of March and one kilo is shown, which is just under a kilo, but that's not a big deal. So now with my fridge inventory, I'm currently, it's currently Thursday, the 18th of March. So I still haven't used the breast chicken. I've used two of that chicken breast pieces have been used and the whole chicken has also been used. I can also remove the mince and I actually have two left. Seafood mix can be removed because I did use that up last Friday. I just need to now add all of this onto the inventory. I actually don't have any carrots, so I know that needs to be on my list this week. But now I've updated my poultry and I've updated my meat. And that way I can start putting together a shopping list dedicated for this week's menu plan.
I needed to purchase the roti and the rice and that came to $23.32. They don't actually have the individual prices of, but I'm, th this is normally about $11. This is normally about 12. So that's, works out about $23. <laughs> and let's get right into the fruit. So the Lebanese cucumbers came to $4.85. This strawberry punnet came to $2.99. The lettuce, which is here, and they came to $2.49 each. These delicious yellow nectarines came to $3.63. So these are $1.29, the carrots. I wasn't charged last time, so now we know that the real price is $1.29. Brown onion, three of these, and is a dollar and two cents. The garlic, a dollar ninety-eight. The bag of grapes, beautiful grapes, two dollars and thirty-seven cents. The total is twenty-three dollars and thirty-two cents for the fruit. Total spent at Woolworths was $74.80. First thing on the receipt is the garlic. This is what I'm going to need for this week's meal plan because I'm going to do chicken Kievs. And this was $3. These are next on the list. So the sauce, the passata, and I've got four of these bottles, and that came to $1.50 each. Steamed rice, the sun rice, these are on sale and they were only $2 each. So I also bought these for a little quick lunch. We have the garlic tube, $4.50. The garlic bread is $1.90. I got two of the ham. This is going to be needed for when I make chicken parmigiana. So they were $5 each. I've got two of those, as you can see. Now the prosciutto, because today is actually Friday when I'm filming this, and I ran out, I needed more prosciutto for my chicken involtini that I'm making. So I brought another two of these, and they were $7 each. Arnold's shapes were on sale, so they were $2.50 each box, the, the pizza, the barbecue and the chicken flavour. The shapes, $2.50 each. We've got the wholemeal bread right here, two of those and they're $1.60. And we also got some pasta, so the spaghetti here. This is going to be used for the spaghetti carbonara this week. And these are $2.60 each. Same with the rigatoni. Pasta, I'm going to use this for the pasta bake this week. And they were $2.60 a packet as well. The only thing that I haven't mentioned is the mozzarella cheese. And the price for the mozzarella cheese is $6 for this mozzarella cheese. So I'll be using that for the chicken parmigianas. So the total amount will be on the screen, including tech, the Indian store, the fruit store, the fruit shop, and also Woolworths. I really tried to keep it a really low budget this week, just trying to really just buy what we need and get through week by week <laughs> and plan that way. So that is the total up on the screen of everything that we've spent this week. <laughs> That's another grocery haul and we're going to get right into sharing more in detail about our, our menu plan for this week. Menu plan is set. Monday is going to be chicken parmigiana and salad. Pasta bake on Tuesday. Wednesday will be a taco bake. 
Thursday, pasta carbonara. Friday is chicken Kiev. Ricky's gonna cook a curry on Saturday. And Sunday will be leftovers or takeout. So snacks is apple, carrots, cucumber, cheese, biscuits, and nectarines. No, Mommy. What do you get in? And the note is be productive, be creative, and be you. Okay. Okay. Go sit down. Go sit down. Yes, as you can see, EJ's a hungry little boy. But so that is the menu plan for this week. I'm excited to be sharing it with you. And here's to another productive, creative week.